Hey everybody, welcome into this new video of Sexpress. I'm going to be showing you really quick how to use freelancers for the very people who are just getting started into the freelancer world. I'm not going to be focusing long into how you can create an account because it's actually really, really simple. Once you go into the freelancer.com, fast forward slash sign up, what you want to do is to continue whether with Facebook or to choose an email as well as a passcode. Then later on, you want to agree to the terms of service and the privacy policy and hitting to join the freelancer. Once you have created an account, it's going to be really, really easy to verify your account to set it up correctly. So uh, you might be seeing something like set up your account. Having a complete verified account will increase the chances of getting judged. So what we wanted to do is to set up our account into the right part. So to do that, first of all, let's say, for example, that we wanted to verify our email. This one just give us 6% of the verification email. So I'm going to go back here. And just like that, my account should be, let's say, getting more points and setting up our account by adding a full name, by adding more stuff. So you can do this by yourself. I'm going to be showing you now how can get how can we get started here into the freelancer section. So um, if you see here into the opposite side, we do have the dashboard. We have the list, task list, my projects, and books, feedbacks, and free credit. Credits can be helping you to, let's say, apply for a specific job. So, of course, you might be having some free credits daily, monthly, annual, but you can get more credit if you pay for that. So, there are a few ways that you can earn free credits to, let's say, apply for more jobs. So, if you want to chat, you can click into free credits. And for example, here, let's say that give a friend $20 and get $20 back before you can get started with the following your email and a phone number. So do this and then later on your friend and yourself should be getting $20 back. Now let's go back into browse once again or just click into the freelancer logo and this one should be taking you back into the dashboard. Now here into the dashboard, what you want to do is to get started with browsing some jobs. So this dashboard is going to be helping you to uh, see everything you need to take it out about uh, discussions, community, whatever. So you don't want to focus a lot in here if you don't want to look out for the new world. You wanted to, let's say if you wanted to get started with your very first job, is to go directly into the upper side of this browse. And here we have the search freelancers. So you can search for projects, you can select for contests, for freelancers, for exams, memberships, and all of these elements tools that freelancing has to offer to us. Let's focus into how we can get started to um, find our very first job. Let's go into the section that says projects. And this one should be taking us into the browse section of the projects. Now in here, let's filter this a little bit more so we can try to look for the right work for us. Let's say that I wanted to look out for a Spanish translator. So I'm going to hit now into save and check it out. We have a native Portuguese, uh, Chinese, Japanese and Portuguese translation. We need to translate our video from French to Spanish, also female voice. I need a Chinese translator. So uh, what I want to do is to try to filter as much information as I can so I can get the right job for me. So let's go for English to Spanish, for example. Translator, I'm going to hit now into save. Got it. X. Now. I am looking for a skilled writer to help me create a non-fiction self book, the ideal candidate. So if you find the job you're looking for, what you wanted to do is to click, let's say for example, into something like this. And as you can see, it says bit 23, average bit 25. And down here, I do have the section that we can go for uh, getting started down in here as you can see it says please complete these three steps before betting onto the project this one is for security reasons so if you have just getting started what you want to do is to let's say that i have a skills on website design um php get into next i verify my email already and i wanted just to add all my information the headlines i am a graphic or a spanish translator into the summary, this is just an example since we are just doing this uh, for the purpose of the, an actual tutorial. Now the language, I'm going to just leave it into 23 dollars and hit now into save. Now, uh, now that we have just enabled and import our actual new profile information, 
I'm going to hit now into save. Now I have enabled the place a bit on this project. If you focus into the upper side, we have the bit 23. So this means that there are 23 people that have input the information for working to this project. So you are, let's say, like a competition between yourself and other 23 feet lenses. So the product details, they are willing to pay between $10 and $30, the uh, Canadian dollars, I believe. So the product details, our website currently has the capability to import clients, the skills required. Um, so with all of this information, with all of these examples and these three bits, you wanted to add the best bit to the project so you can get more chances to get selected. For example, let's say that I am willing to receive only $15, for example. So um, the fee, of course, of these three lengths and stuff is going to be taking $5, almost $6 for the job so at the end of the day you're going to be earning only nine dollars but since this is like your first job i th think it's totally okay it's going to be more useful for you to have more jobs and experience than money because uh later on you can get more money the more ex experience you get here into freelancer the more money you're going to be uh, receiving here so now the project will del be delivered in let's say for example that it's going to be taking me only two days and now here into the scrap your proposal you wanted to add all the info about yourself. Um, how are you going to do the work? And so on and on and on. Now, scrolling down is going to be appearing here, our contact information. Now, if you wanted to get verification by freelance, it's going to be helping you to get more, a little bit more chances to, let's say, get hired. Like, uh, it just brings a little bit more uh, trust between the freelancing stuff and the people who are creating this stuff. So then later on, you want to go for the project milestone. So in my case, I wanted to just leave this to zero or let's go for only one dollar and I have the place a bit. Into the upper side, since we have a free account, we have the free membership and the free memberships give us six beats left out of six. I'm not pretty sure if this one is uh, per week or per month of daily or daily, but we are able to submit for proposing jobs six times. So if I hit now into post and to um, place the bid, it's going to appear in here that you have successfully placed a bid. $15. Now into the other proposals, I can see what people are being offered. So check it out what they, these people have so far. People have these five stars. They have these elements, the total number of reviews received, the total amount earned so far, the percentage of successfully completed jobs, and where are they currently from. So you just need to check it out. Who are your actual competitors? So you wanted to, let's say, be featured a little bit more so with that being said guys i'm going to hit now into retract because i don't want to actually bet for this job so what is left to be done is just to complete our account um so the more information you have about yourself the best and it's going to be giving you more chances to get hired so uh, in my case i need to do all of these elements in order to let's say gain more trust and to start by adding real real money here into freelancers and lastly guys you can go into your managed so you can see everything about your recent projects your list your task list and much more if you have any question about creating or editing or cancel or retract or to complain about an actual project you can go with the freelancer customer service and can be helping you to get started or to make a dispute whatever you need it's actually really really great to get started here into the freelancer.com with that being said guys hopefully this was a very useful information so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great hosts about you can get started here into the freelancer.com thank you but truly thank you once again for watching this video guys and i'll see you on the next video